Welcome back to Humankind and look how beautiful it looks. In this video I'm going to give you some information on the map editor, some map details, multiplayer settings and of course the question on everyone's mind, does Humankind have a true earth map that is both realistic and playable? Let's discuss. So for those unfamiliar, uh, yesterday the developers did a one hour live stream where they showed us this real footage of them live using the map editor. And I have to say, let me condense all of the information that they gave out because they gave out a lot down into this video. For starters, I want to comment, this looks aesthetically pleasing my goodness look how beautiful it is also i have to say from what we've seen from the tools on the left hand side of your screen there you can see them up in the top left they look really uh beautifully designed as well but let's talk details so they let some pretty juicy stuff slide for starters huge maps will be uh 150 tiles long so that's sort of broadly the size of map that we're dealing with in humankind and that is at the moment at least as big as it gets when you're building these maps you can also do all sorts of other things that you would expect like drawing drawing out the territories and regions within the map. Uh, also things like choosing player locations, city locations, so on and so forth, uh, and labeling all of the natural features. And of course, what you would expect from a map editor also exists, right? The placement of rivers, the placement of natural features across humankind's 10 different biomes, feature tiles, so on and so forth. One of the interesting pieces of information uh, that is sort of new to me and I think to the community as a whole at least we know a lot more about it now is community support within both the map editor and the details of that but also more broadly within human the actual game itself the menus uh, humankind will have a sort of community setting on the main menu and within that there'll be mod IO support that is how these custom maps made within the map editor and I'm assuming maybe even more broadly mods across the board will be able to be shared between players and this makes sense because humankind is not just releasing on steam it is also of course coming to google stadia uh epic game store as well as getting it obviously so it's not just the steam thing so it makes sense that we don't have all of our modding support or how we share our maps bound to the steam workshop Humankind and Amplitude Studios are using mod.io for that. I think that's a reasonable thing, although to be fair, I haven't dealt a lot with mod.io personally. Now let's talk some multiplayer settings. We heard from the developers that when they were building this gorgeous looking realistic Australia, by the way. Man, I just, I know I've said it already, but it does look stunning. We heard from them that humankind will support, and indeed uh, the map editor sort of gave this away, will support eight player multiplayer lobbies, up to 10 players. However, at launch, and we can see it when uh, about midway through the live stream, when, that, when he was choosing where to put the cities, uh, we could see that the game seems to only be geared up to support eight players, or at least the map editor was geared up to support eight. Now, granted, this could be an old version of the tool or whatever, but I think maybe we can glean some insights out of that. Uh, perhaps the game is performing better than expected. It can now handle 10, whereas before it could only handle 8, right? That's totally a legitimate possibility. Or, more likely, maybe, the game is uh, nearing release. There's some features they'd like to squeeze in, but they just can't quite do it. So the map editor is being designed to handle up to eight players. Indeed, we suspect multiplayer will be the same. The game will be geared to handle eight players with the vision, the developer's vision of allowing us to have 10 players more uh, down the line. Also, speaking of the developer's vision, they talked a lot about uh, again and again during the live stream about how they're very keen to continue to support the game after its release. Now, of course, we would expect that, right? It makes sense that Humankind game needs to be supported after its release. They'll be probably looking to sell DLC packages or expansion packs, additional cultures, sieves to play as, so on and so forth. So it makes sense, but it's nice to hear it. And they really did ram it home about 10 times. So I believe them. It seemed uh, justified. Now, last but not least, at the end of the video, let's talk about where this map editor could go and can we get a true earth, a huge, realistic, and playable true earth map 
in humankind? The answer is, unfortunately, a little bit of a maybe. It's a maybe, but more of a yes. Let me give you the bad news first. The bad news is, it sounds like Humankind game will not be launching with a true Earth map. And to be honest, I find that a little bit disappointing. I'd really like, at particularly Amplitude Studios, to come out with one. Obviously, modders in the community and so on will eventually probably build a better one because the whole hive mind thing, right? There are literally millions of us and some very talented people out there, including you watching this video most likely, who could design some beautiful maps. So we shouldn't just leave it up to the developers. But when you're releasing a game that is bound to human history, to cultures, <laughs> uh, I would expect a true Earth map. I could be wrong, of course. We are still uh, not quite uh, ready to see what humankind fully has to offer. So, no, it will not be launching with a true Earth start map. That being said, the developers uh, were asked a few questions about it towards the end of the live stream. They were doing sort of a Q&A type thing. And they said, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've just built Australia. You will absolutely be able to build a realistic Earth map. The only thing will be some countries just will not be playable. And that's largely, uh, well, that's for two reasons. Firstly, that the tool literally wouldn't allow you to have enough tiles to genuinely create the scale of the world. Uh, but secondly, and maybe more importantly than that, the tool is also uh, a, a little bit limited because of humankind's territories and region system. As I mentioned at the start of the video, and as you will have seen throughout, you can sort of draw on the regions. You have to, right? That's fundam a fundamentally core mechanic of humankind is the map territories. And unfortunately, you just would not be able to build territory small enough to be able to play every single country. Here's looking at you, Liechtenstein. But across the board, it looks promising, and I think from what we've seen here in my video and from what the developers have said, I have no doubt that probably within a week, heck, maybe even within a day, we will have some kind of map that the community has made that will be True Earth, relatively realistic, and not every country will be playable, but it will still be a good time overall. Overall, I think the map editor and the details on multiplayer and the editor itself, the support of mod.io, all comes together to bring about a really solid piece of machinery within Humankind game. Looks like the community features are going to be fantastic. I'm really already in love with this map editor. I just I cannot get over the aesthetics. It looks fantastic. Humankind now but one day away for me living in New Zealand and two days for you guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I'll see you then. Take care.